Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our next optional bug fix update for Windows 10 in its final stages of testing, where it's currently been tested in the release preview channel. And that's the update KB5028244, which will be our next optional bug fix update rolling out for Windows 10. And because it's in its final testing, if we head to the calendar quickly, we could expect that to start rolling out in the fourth week of the month, as Microsoft said, where the optional updates will now start rolling out. And we can expect that to start rolling out, if not next week, the 25th, which will be the following week, the last full week of the month on that Tuesday of July 2023. Now, the update includes the following improvements, and there are no new features or major changes that uh, Microsoft um, is rolling out with this bug fix update. It really is just at its heart and core a non-security bug fix update and does include the following improvements. And this is not a comprehensive list. I uh, am um, just a couple of the so-called key highlights I thought you may be interested in. And obviously this is subject to change because one or two of these um, fixes may change or might disappear or new ones might be added because it is still in preview. So just take note of that. Now the update affects uh, the Windows notification platform where apparently it addresses an issue where the notification platform was failing to send notifications from applications to you. So that's a, a fix that's rolled out there. And the update addresses an issue that affects hybrid joined devices. Apparently you couldn't sign into them if they were connected to the internet. And it also addresses an issue that might affect Win32 and Universal Windows Platform UWP apps. So those are the default apps that roll out with Windows 10. They might close when devices enter modern standby. And there's a WMI, a Windows Management Instrumentation uh, fix that's rolled out, where apparently uh, the WMI was causing an installation error, and that f uh, issue has now been addressed. And there are two fixes rolling out for printer issues. The first affects the user mode printer dr uh, drivers. They unload unexpectedly, according to Microsoft. And this was occurring, that unloading unexpectedly was occurring when you print from multiple print queues on the same printer driver. And then the second printer fix rolling out for Windows 10 22H2 um, apparently fixes an unexpected internet printing protocol mode switch, which could cause the print job to abruptly stop. So that's two printer fixes made available with this next optional bug fix update. Then the next fix is a fix that addresses an issue that might affect your computer when you are playing a game. Apparently timeout detection and recovery errors might occur. So that's a nice fix if you are gaming on Windows 10. And just a couple more to go. The update addresses an issue that affects certain display and audio devices. They were missing after your system resumed from sleep. And the update addresses an issue that might affect some VPN clients. They might not establish a connection. And the final two for today's video, the update addresses an issue that causes Windows to fail. Apparently, this occurs when uh, you were using BitLocker on a storage medium that has a large sector size. So that's a bit of a stability improvement. And then the update addresses an issue that affects the search app. Apparently, it wasn't opening in full screen or it was blocking um, Sorry, it did open in full screen and was blocking additional start menu actions and you couldn't close it. So that now has been addressed, which I think will be a nice improvement and fix if you were experiencing that issue where the search app was opening in full screen or it was blocking your start menu. Now, if you do decide to install the update, because it is optional, and when it does roll out, if we just head over to Winver, that's about Windows, just to get to our OS build, the current stable version of Windows 10, version 22H2, the OS build is 19045.3208. And if you do decide to install the next update, that OS build will be bumped up for Windows 10 22H2 to build 19045.3269 or somewhere in that vicinity. And that's, as mentioned, KB5028244, which is our next optional bug fix update that will be rolling out shortly over the next week or so for Windows 10 version 22H2. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.